Hi, my name is Ashish and in this video we will see add a durable timer to manage long running tasks in Azure Durable Functions. So let me just quickly log on to the portal and take it from there. All right, so let's say <clears throat> the company has asked us to amend the new workflow to incorporate an escalation step to take action if a project design proposed is not approved in a timely fashion. So in this video, we will add a timer to control timeout during the execution of the workflow in the durable function app. All right. So if I give you uh, the background, so when you are working with a long running workflow, it is important to consider some additional scenarios. For example, what should happen if a task is not completed with an acceptable period of time? How can you check the status of the task? You can address these concerns with timeouts and escalation path. Right. So we are using timers in durable functions. Durable function provides timers for use in the orchestrator functions, which you can use to implement delays or set up timeouts for us for asynchronous actions. You should use durable timers in orchestrator function instead of set timeout and set interval functions. Okay, so if we continue, we'll add a moment NPM package to the function app, right? So we created a function app, this sort of app in the last video. Okay, now in the developments and console, if I write console here, you see in development tools console. I come here, right? So I will do npm install type script. Okay, so So this is a required dependency for static typing. I'll pause the video and come back when it is done. And now nine npm. Okay. So it, these commands may take few seconds to complete and the node package manager may display some warnings that we ignored like this. We'll have to wait until all packages have finished installing. Then we will con con close the control window. Okay, now I would go to functions. And then I will add a durable functions activity template. I will add again like this. I click on add. It will add it. I will see hello too. So I will click on code plus test. I will replace the code here. Do this, save it. This would contain uh, this code returns a message indicating that the workflow has been escalated. In a production system, this function would contain the logic to remind the recipient or reassign the task. Now I will update the orchestration function to use the escalation function. I would go back to the functions here. Then I will select my orchestration function here. And do a code plus test. and index.js and I will add a reference to the moment library. So I will add constant uh, moment equal to require and like this. Okay, I'll save it. Now I will replace the body of the function with the following code, which will test whether the relevant for approval has passed or not. I will do here. And I will change 
this save okay and now I will verify that the durable function start I will go to the HTTP start function here code plus test and I will get the function URL copy it here 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 see the logs all right I should not see a message <clears throat> go here let me check one function about bound traffic outbound inbound okay now you see here uh, the time at timeout value of this exceeded by function this uh, in it initiating the cancellation right was exceeded by function so when the timeout uh, value of this was exceeded it initiated the cancellation this is due durable function in use again it will check if any new trace has been received else it would cancel the uh, initiate the cancellation all right to this and this is how you see no new trace in here so this is how you set the timer okay i hope this was informative for all of you guys if you have any queries mention them in the comment section and i'll see you guys in the next video thank you have a good day ahead